So guys, sneaky little update here. This is it so far, where I'm up to. Um, if you can see, I've connected, disconnects, the pump is inside here now. So I've cut the holes there, and for that there, pump goes in. Um, so this is an extension for that. So that's that done now. So I've got my stainless steel tubing, as you can see here. Um, all hooked up now to recirc. I cut the hole for the the temperature control. So you know, set up and down controls the element, which will be wired into the box. Well, it'll just be cut a hole for in here. That'll go into the box. Back into the back of the um, temperature control there, which will control um, the element. Um, and then I'll have probably just another little hole cut down here guys and then that'll come out for the temperature probe It'll feed through um, Handles need to go on the sides here and here um, So that's that I can move it around and the only other thing is I was thinking I Explained it the other day, but um uh, is, is the pump has a um, power plug so it is the um so it is the temperature controller obviously so yeah the element element goes into the back of the temperature controller and the temperature controller gets plugged directly into the power to mains so both of them have normal pronged plugs so I may need to I don't even know how I'm gonna I don't know anything about electronics or anything guys but um I want to be able to control the pump and the temperature controller separately so I'd like two switches turn the pump off whenever I want not, rather than unplugging it so I'm thinking maybe maybe a power point two power points on the inside like a like a power outlet the two plugs will go directly into the power outlet on the inside and they'll be switched on and then somehow wire the back of that power outlet power point into the back or straight into a um, like a light like a you know like a normal power outlet outlet or a switch you know with the switches for the lights just have the one um, insert for the for the direct power and then that'll have two buttons controlling on the inside the temperature controller and the and the pump so I was thinking it sounds easy, but I don't even know if that's possible or if you have to, you know, wire some sort of um, switchboard inside of there or something and um, directly to the pump and to the controller and off that two switches, you know, you have to have two switches and, and then there'll be a, off that will be another direct power. I'm not too sure how it works, guys. I don't know anything about it, so like I said. So, um, it's all fitted, guys, instead of coming out of the side here. Decided to come up here to make it easier, you know, like it just slims it down when I'm grabbing the handles. There's nothing sticking out here, um, and there's enough room here. I may need to get something just to um, come off the lid, uh, off the top of the pot there, and hold this in place. But it doesn't matter, it's not too too big of a deal. I've got my um, uh, ball valve for control of the flow of the pump. Just like the grandfather has at the top there, so I can cut it off here, um, and all that will be left would be, I guess, what's in there. Um, but it, it may equalise. I'm not too sure. And then I got my. Um, this is all just bits and pieces, guys. Everything I already had here. I haven't spent any money on any of this stuff, as you can see. Got some just bits and pieces. Another bag there full of junk. This is my mess. So you can see it's all a DIY. Um, yeah, but it should all be pretty cool as soon as I can get the um, power. So just got a tube compression fitting on the end of this piece of tubes. Sound is still tubing, and this is quick disconnects here. Except to that, and then this will be all one piece. Um, for the sparge arm there. So I actually have my proper lid as well. This is just, just the sparge or mash lid, we'll call it. 
Then um, my basket has been drilled out now. I have my handle holes done. My handle's just here, guys. There you go. Just off a bucket. All those pails or whatever they are. Um, yeah, I drilled all the holes now out of it. So if you can see that. That's the feet. There's the holes there. So there should be enough um, to do the job. It obviously needs a clean guys, I just I just did it and uh, some oil in there. Um, anyway, I don't know if the holes are gonna be too small yet. We'll have to have to give it a test run. It should be enough to aid in the filtering, it's just depends on um, if they're small enough not to get blocked. There you go. Simple. Goes in over the handle and the um, thermo well there. Shits in there like so. I mean it's a little bit high on that thermo well. I can't take it off. I have ordered another half size thermo well which will allow, which will allow me you sit it about there, hopefully. <laughs> Run them. this margarine. We'll go on. Like so. It's not going to be perfect, as you can see. But, I can just move it around, you know. As we go. And then, yeah. Regarding the malt pipe. Grain basket. Some stainless steel chest handles or you know toolbox handles which will go on the bottom like this and um, won't be flush but it's fine that'll do the job and that's I can sit on like this So when I pull the basket up, it'll just rest on the handles. Think so. Perfect. Cheers. Anyway, just want to give you a quick little update on how it's going. Handles on the sides here. One power plug to control the lot. I think we got it guys. I think we did it. Just got to get that power sorted, which I have no idea what I'm doing. But anyway, that's it. Cheers. Talk to you soon. With another update, hopefully. Alright, cheers.